This will be a short and sweet Christmas video, a little bit of red, my Nordic friend in the, in the background. I've grown out of Santa Claus. And this is a big contribution to Fantoines all over the world who support Jonathan Antoine in his latest adventure to get an album out by one of the world's most famous songwriters and lyricists ever. And I believe they've already written, and I believe she's called Diane Warren. And what's happened is they've wrote some incredible songs, but I'm looking for them everywhere and I cannot see any releases anywhere. So Fantoines, I have to wait to 2024, just like you, for the release of these songs for me to react to. Now coming up to Christmas, a little bit of Christmas cheer, everybody. Christmas card up there. Maybe the Nordic friend is clashing with my Buddha friend, but look, it's about faith, it's about love, it's about hope, prosperity, and I wish it all to you. But getting back to Jonathan Antoine, hopefully 2024 will bring that album. With uh, Dion, I know you were doing a fundraiser for it as well. I just hope it comes out soon because if this is anything to go by, we are in for, as always, this incredible tenor voice that just turns his soul, his heart, his whole being into something quite, quite unusual when you listen to him every single time. He never fails to disappoint. And I'm going to tell you something as a fact. My channel, Fantoines, has been going for three years. Two years ago, I discovered the real Jonathan Antoine. And I said, wow, this guy is so diverse. He needs to be more popular. So I featured him in my second year of my channel. A lot, a lot, a lot. And what's happened is I grew from 85 subscribers to a couple of hundred because of you Fantoines joining me in the second year of my channel. During the third year, and this was this particular year, I have not played Jonathan only once before, and that was a couple of weeks ago, because I was giving so much time to new artists. And guess what's happened? Jonathan remains my top five most listened to tracks on my channel. He still remains in the top five, even with a year's gap where I gave other artists a chance. Jonathan still breathes life. And we'll see right now. What is he singing today? A very covered song, I'll Be Home For Christmas. But people, again, don't know the bio and that's what I'm here for. I'll Be Home For Christmas is a Christmas song, as we all know, written by the lyricist Kim Gannon and composer Walter Kent and recorded in 1943, believe it or not, by Bing Crosby who scored a top 10 hit with the song, originally written to honour soldiers overseas who long to be home for Christmas time. I'll Be Home for Christmas has since gone on to become Christmas standard every year. The theme of the song points the view of a soldier stationed overseas during World War II, writing a letter to his family. In the message, he tells his family he'll be coming home to prepare the holiday for him and requests snow, mistletoe, and presents under the tree. The song ends on a melancholy note with the soldier saying, I'll be home for Christmas, if only my, in my dreams. The flip side of the original recording was Danny Boy. The song was written by lyricist Kim Gannon, as I said, and composer Walter Kent, and later producer and manager for The Platters, Book Ram, who said he previously wrote a poem and a song with the same title was credited as a co-writer of the song following a lawsuit brought by the publisher Mills Music at the time. Bing Crosby's original 1943 release of the song on Decca Records listed only Walter Kent and Kim Gannon as the songwriters on the record label, but later pressings off the record added Book Ram to the songwriting credit, and justifiably so. Now, Bin Crosby's recording of the song I'll Be Home for Christmas, If Only In My Dreams, with the John Scott Trot Orchestra and Decca Records was the one that everybody knows loves. But guess what, everybody? Jonathan Antoine comes and does a twist. He uses some of the lyrics of the song, but he also adds an, his own interpretation and stamp mark to the song but as always delivers in such a special, special manner and way. What have I done for Jonathan? 
with the audio, I found this video about driving in the snow and I thought, isn't that perfect for the festive season? But there was a dashboard and I said, what else can I do to help Jonathan? So I put the Christmas album cover and a great pic of Jonathan singing away there and the title of the song underneath. And we will all experience this together because let me tell you, Antoine's, if this goes wrong, that's it for me, I'm sure, with you. So we can't spoil the moment. Enough talking. You've got a background to the song. Come back. It's going to be so short and sweet. We don't even need to talk about the lyrics, do we? Okay, I'll give you a little rundown after. But do come back. This is all. You will see. I'm going to start the video. So you can, I want you to imagine Jonathan driving. And there he is driving along. Yeah, with himself. <laughs> I have pictures of myself in a car. So why not Jonathan? And let's take it away. And let's see what happens with me putting now his voice to the track. Enjoy. <sighs> I'm dreaming tonight of a place I love even more than I usually do. And although I know it's a long Now, wasn't that absolutely incredible? His version on it. What he has done is Jonathan took out a, the two main verses, added a bit in the beginning, a little bit in the middle, a little bit in the end, give it a bit of a shake, and you've got the magical dust of the festive season being sung in a t tenor soprano way by Jonathan Antoine, but using the classic Bing Crosby song as its foundation and does it beautifully and I just added a bit of festive touch because it was an audio and I thought 
instead of an Audi, we are going to put a bit of movement into it. And at the same time, we can focus on Jonathan and imagine he's driving the car there. I think it's wonderful and I'm hope, hoping that you enjoyed it. Now, when it comes to the song itself, I'm going to put Vin Crosby's link into the description. Please check out for that. For the original of I'll Be Home for Christmas, you'll enjoy it just as much. And it gives you the best of both worlds. It's my double Christmas present to you all. Fantoines, thank you for continuing to support me and Jonathan's videos on my channel because they're ever increasing in numbers, the views, and that means you're watching. That means you're tuning in or repeating the video or my reaction. And I can only be honored for that. And thank you. So to Jonathan, happy Christmas. To all the fans around the world, happy Christmas. To all the Antoines that are joining all of us in celebrating such a wonderful, wonderful guy. We have fingers crossed for 2024 and the release of this incredible new album. We are all wanting to listen to and to savor, and it'll be a number one for sure. When it comes to a little bit more about the song itself, it is very short and sweet with the lyrics because it says I'll be home for Christmas. You can plan on me. Please have snow and mistletoe and presents by the tree. Christmas Eve will find me where the love light gleams and I'll be home for Christmas if only in my dreams. You can almost imagine the silhouette of the soldier because that's what it was originally written for, for soldiers abroad, writing a letter they knew in their hearts they probably couldn't live up to coming home for Christmas, but giving the loved ones hope. Because at Christmas time, I've often said, if you've no money, no food, no electricity, but you have deep in your heart a faith and a soul that gives you hope, the light will come through and will shine through. I believe that. I always have. Even, my, even in my darkest moments, Yes, I've turned to God and yes, I've listened to my inner soul and believed in myself and believed around a corner something good will happen. And you know what? And do you know what? It always did happen. Good came. It says Christmas Eve will find me where the love light gleams. I'll be home for Christmas. And then it's a melancholy bit. If only in my dreams. Not everybody now can come home. It's incredible how things have changed in Ireland as well. The nucleus was the grandmother of the family. Everybody went for Christmas parties. I can remember years ago going to my grandparents' golden anniversary. I'd say one of the few, the few in the world now that celebrate that because between life's challenges and life and people getting bored very quickly, people don't hold on to marriage or the values the way they used to and the nucleus of the family breaks up. And they always say, oh, it's the precious of this, that, and the other. But they seem to forget that their grandparents and great-grandparents held it together through love and faith with each other and had nothing but yet put food on the table. It can be done. It ought to be done. And with a lot of children at Christmas time, it's not done. And they go with empty bellies and they wake up to no Christmas tree and no presents. And every day is a gloomy day. I pray for them at Christmas as well. I'd like to extend my prayers and all to those children in the hospital, not just children, to anybody in hospital who are sick, who are dying, or are in temporarily, but unfortunately they're in at Christmas time. And I excuse for any noise outside. I pray to the homeless and for the homeless. But why do I differentiate between the two? I pray to the homeless who have a roof over their heads, but they're part of the homeless cycle of things. But I also pray, pray for the homeless who are out physically on the streets with nowhere to go, no emergency accommodation. My hearts are with them as well. I pray to everybody who's struggling this Christmas. All the people are who are abroad, who cannot come home because financially they can't afford it. But they don't tell their parents that, they just say, I'm busy, I'm working. And maybe things are tough for them too. And really, it's not possible financially. 
I pray for all of them who can't come home and be part of a family situation. My parents both died of cancer within a short time of each other. And I'll finish on this. My family dispersed, but we were always very independent people. But the one thing we do do is wish each other a happy Christmas, regardless of the fact we don't visit and we're not in each other's pockets. It's a text, it's an email, it's a telephone call. There's many ways to say, even a card, an anonymous card, saying, Happy Christmas to all of you. You don't have to say brother if you don't wish, depending on the situation, whatever it is. I'm just fortuitous enough we lived independent lives that whereas Christmas, holidays, weddings, funerals, all of that, we come together as one. We show uniformity, but when we're away, we're very independent. It's like, oh, it's, it's my sister again. Oh. And I always said that to my partner. I always go, it's my sister. <laughs> but the day that she's not here, I'll miss her. So look, for whatever scenario you're in at Christmas, I send love, peace and happiness. And again, thank you to all the Antoines who have supported me on this channel throughout 2021, 2022, and now coming to the end of 2023, may it continue in 2024. May we all come together and celebrate this man and a beautiful voice that he has. Looking forward to the new album, Jonathan. Don't disappoint. We're waiting, we're waiting, and I'm waiting to react. I'm your number one reactor fan. I know I am. I have the views and the top videos to prove it. Take care. Happy, happy Christmas, New Year to you all. See you all in 2024.